Hello friends, I am Dajishri from Siban Jets Live and today I am here to discuss something about the IBPS PO examination. Friends, you might know that each and every year IBPS has been conducting many examinations related to the banking sector and every year about 30 to 50 lakh students appear in this examinations. All these students aspire to build a career in banking sector and you are also one of them. So friends, tomorrow is the day when IBPS will be conducting its first examination of this academic year. That is the prelims of the PO examination. So today I am here to discuss with you all how the question paper would be for tomorrow's examination. Every year the banking sector has been organizing examinations and the pattern of the question paper which is followed is almost the same. This academic year, SBI has conducted its clerk and PO examinations and based upon those examinations, we have prepared an analysis of how the questions would be for the upcoming IBPS PO examination. In the prelims examinations, you have three sections. The first section is quantitative aptitude which comprises of 35 questions containing 35 marks. The next section is a reasoning which also contains 35 questions and 35 marks. And the last section is English which comprises of 30 questions containing 30 marks. Friends, now let's discuss each and every section in details. Friends, now let's start with the quantitative aptitude section. The first topic that comes under this section will be simplification. Generally, you can expect 10 marks question from this topic, but it can be of 5 marks also for tomorrow's examination. The next is series. Series is generally asked for 5 marks only. After that, we have data interpretation, which is of 5 marks, but you can expect to get 10 marks questions also. Next is equation. Generally, questions from this section is not asked, but to be on the safe side, you can practice them and go. And even if it comes, it will be of 5 marks only. The last section is the miscellaneous type questions which will include profit and loss, geometry, time, speed and distance and all the other topics uh, contained in quantitative aptitude section. So from this section, you can expect a question of 15 marks but it can be of 10 marks also for tomorrow's examination. Okay friends, now let's move to the reasoning section. The first topic under this section can be of inequalities which will consist of 5 marks. Then we'll have blood relation and coding decoding which will be of 5 marks but you can expect a question of 10 marks also. Next topic is syllogisms. Generally questions from this section are not asked but to be on the safer side you can practice them and go and even if it comes it will be of 5 marks only. The next topic will be input output data sufficiency and verbal reasoning. So questions from these sections are generally not asked. So you can expect zero marks from them. After that, logical puzzle and sitting arrangement will consist of 15 marks. Then finally, we come to the miscellaneous section which will have questions from decision making, number series, direction, number and alphabet series, etc. And in this section, you can expect questions of about 10 to 15 marks. Friends, now finally come to the English section. Here you will have the questions from reading comprehension, which will consist of synonyms and antonyms. And this will be of 10 marks. Next, you will have a close test of 5 marks. After that, you will have a jumbled paragraph of 5 marks. Then you will have questions from grammar error. Same again 5 marks and sentence correction also ha will have 5 marks questions. Now lastly questions from fill in the blanks it may come or may not come but you can still expect a question of 5 marks to come so be to be on the safer side you can practice them and go. Friends this pattern of question paper was completely based on the recent examinations which was held this year. So friends you can follow this pattern and expect a similar type of questions for tomorrow's examination. Friends there is always a chance for surprises to come in examinations but surprises are sometimes good and sometimes bad. 
but for that do not get nervous at all be in a cool state of mind and give your best in the examination hall if you get nervous and get stuck in a particular question just leave that question and whatever you are confident of only solve those questions and give your best in the examination you can tell me about how your examination was by writing in the comment box below friends for more interesting videos please do subscribe our channel and lastly before i move out i'd like to wish you all the very best for your ibps po examination and with this i'd like to wind up for today hope to meet you all soon till then take care and goodbye